Hello everybody, it's Carla here today and um, I'm actually doing something different. This is my very first video where I'm showing you guys a technique, <laughs> so please bear with me. Um, anyway, so um, on one of my most recent videos where I, um, I think it was the Gems and Friends one, where I... Um, was creating some projects for an event. Um, I had done a technique called Cloisonne, and I think I called it Cloisonne, but I want to say it's actually pronounced cl Cloisonne. Anyway, um, it's this really cool technique, and I'll show you. Um, this is what I created, so you can kind of see. Um, it's a stamped image. And it's a very light on this one. It actually works better if you use a black background. So I'll show you um, this embellishment I created does have the black background. And so you can see how it has all of these little veins with gold. And that's what cloisonne is. Um, it is used by the French and the Chinese. It's a technique where they take gold wire and manipulate it into different shapes um, and so I have some pictures uh, and I'm not sure if I'm going to put them in the front or the the end of the video but it'll it'll show you um, the advanced techniques that these artisans use to create um, the real um, masterpieces and so this technique that crafters use is an imitation of that um, so instead of gold wire, I just use gold, uh, a gold stamp pad to create this. So we're going to, on this um, piece of chipboard, we're going to create this effect. And you can use it on anything. This happens to be a wood piece that I got from Which Craft Do You Do? Okay, so what you're going to need is some black paint, and I just use this folk art one. And then obviously a paintbrush. You're going to need your um, item that you're going to alter. So in this case, I'm just using a piece of chipboard. Um, you could use a wooden tile. Um, there's a million things you could do. So you're just going to get something um, to alter. And then you're going to want, um, you're, because we're using embossing powders, you're going to want something that it can adhere to. So I recommend Versamark. Um, and that's what I'm going to be using. You're going to want embossing powder. And I, I think that the black works the best. That's just me. Um, some people like to add different colors at the end. So, for ex example, let's say, let's say I wanted to go in and make some of these areas different colors. You could use um, different powders to do that, different colored powders. I have this one I got at the dollar store, um, and it's just a pearl, uh, a pearly white powder. Um, it really depends on the effect you want, and, and there's tons of videos out there kind of showing you those steps. What we're going to do is just the basics, though. And then you're going to need um, a stamp pad in gold. So I have this one. This is a Martha Stewart one that comes all in these metallics, but a metallic gold works best. Um, okay, so let's get started. You're going to want to paint your image, and I'll probably speed through some of these sections just so you guys aren't bored to death. Um, yeah. I know this is so sophisticated, isn't it, you guys? Okay, so you're just going to start painting. And you got to make sure that you have a heat gun. That's probably the most important thing you're going to need, uh, or one of the most um, important things you're going to need for this project. And then just make sure you get it really good, that there's no um, spots showing through. Because this is going to be your base. 
Um, yeah, you're also going to need a stamped image. I don't think I mentioned that. Let me um, show you guys. See how my paint is starting to form little clumps? You just want to make sure that you don't have that. So just kind of go over it and over it until you get rid of the clumps. Um, you're going to need some stamps and so this is the one I used on my piece. Um, don't worry about fitting the whole image in, you can use sections of it, but you want something that is more condensed. Uh, so like, see how it's intricate here? It's not an open image. Um, you want something that's going to mimic the cloisonne technique. Here's another one. Just something, you know, with a close, close pattern. Okay, so now I'm just going to dry, if my heat gun wants to work, it has a mind of its own. There we go. Okay, so once that's good and dry, we are going to do a pattern. So we're going to do three layers, and for each layer, it's going to be the same. You're going to take your watermark stamp pad. You're just going to wet the whole surface really, really good. And see, it doesn't leave any behind, so you don't have to worry about getting it dirty. Um, so it's completely wet. I have this handy little tray that my embossing powders came with. So you're going to wet that. You're going to get your black embossing powder. Hope you guys can see. Okay. Good lord, that's tight. Okay. Then you're going to sprinkle it all over. Right, it's messy, so just a heads up, and then just tap off the excess, and then I always clean as I go along because, yeah, you know how it is, girls. <laughs> your craft room gets out of hand, and then you can't find your phone. You don't know where your scissors are. That's not fun. You just want to be able to craft at your own pace without having to look for anything or fall over anything. Okay, so you're going to put that first layer on of the uh, Versamark and then the powder. Then you're going to get your heat gun ready and you're going to heat set this. Why are you yelling? No, when I'm done, I'll help you, so go back. Okay, so that's our first layer, and you can see it's really glossy now. And it is hot, so be careful. Now we're going to repeat this two more times. So you're going to put more of the Versamark, and just really, don't be afraid to get it wet. See, there's nothing left behind. And even if there is, it's not a big deal, guys, I mean. We have to use our products. We can't just, you know, not do certain things because we're afraid of getting a little dirty. Because once you use it up, you can go get more. <laughs> okay, so you're just going to cover the whole surface. 
And then you might want to use tweezers or something, but honestly, just do whatever. I mean, whatever makes you comfortable. Okay, so now I got the embossing powder all over. We're gonna dry it again. Heat guns on the fritz. So what we're doing is we're just making the layers thicker and thicker. Um, when I learned this technique, um, I learned to do it in three layers. So that's what I feel comfortable doing. You could stop now if you wanted, but I'm just going to keep going. And I can't remember the video that I watched. Um, I did not come up with this technique at all. But um, there's, like I said, there's a whole bunch of um, other techniques that people have. Some people use UD. Um, some people use black gesso when they paint. I just use acrylic. Um, you just have to experiment and see what you like best. But this one works for me and it's cheaper than using gesso. Okay, so this is going to be our last layer. Like I said, it is messy. There's no way around that. Um, if you do find a way, let me know. <laughs> I just hate the feeling of all those little grains of powder though. But anyway, what are you going to do, right? This is our last layer, so let's heat emboss this and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so we've done it three times. We've got three layers and a little bit of iridescent powder made its way in there. That's why you see some um, shimmery flecks, but I'm not worried about that. So this is dry. That's from before. Let me do my pinky. <laughs> okay, that's dry, um, but it is hot, so be very careful. Now, finally, we're just about done. You're going to take your gold ink pad and I've got copper and different ones in here um, you could experiment it's just if you want to do the cloisonne technique um, they use gold wire so that's just something that uh, anyway that's why I'm using gold so you're gonna choose your stamp and you're gonna ink it up and this is a rubber stamp and then I clean it with baby wipes right away um, now what we're going to do is, we're nice and inked up. Maybe I could get a little more inked up because there's a lot of detail in this stamp. 